All right, so here's kind of a quick demonstration into uh, Microsoft Teams. Uh, basically, I thought I'd take you through how to get in there exactly. So you can just Google, go ahead and Google Microsoft Teams. Um, and then the first thing that should pop up is just de default Microsoft ad. Um, you can click that and that'll take you right in here. Um, now, when you go ahead and you actually click sign in, um, it'll bring you to a sign in page. But the thing is, I already have mine linked, so it's going to go directly. But essentially what you're going to have to do is in your sign-in page, you're going to have to sign in using your FIT email, but without the at, um, uh, without the my, like, you know, in the at my.fit.edu, you're going to have to do that without the my dot. So it's just going to be your email at fit.edu, and then your, your generic password or your same password should work. Now, when you go ahead and do that, <clears throat> you're going to be kind of brought into this main page. Um, I'm brought into the uh, chat as you can see right there. But essentially what it'll do is you have a toolbar on the left hand side and then you have a search bar on the top. You have your uh, profile settings over here in the top hand, right hand corner. Um, other than that you got some more apps information down in the bottom left and you got your help uh, button down here too. The main thing, uh, apps is not really necessary. That's kind of more advanced um, but that's actually how you add the planner um, so I'll, I'll kind of walk you through that real quickly um, but essentially you see here on your different tabs over here this is how you actually m uh, move around between your different teams and your different uh, web pages essentially um, and as you can see there's teams here and I actually have multiple teams so if you're actually signed up uh, through multiple teams you can actually see them all here uh, you can actually see I have Florida Tech Rocketry and FTR structures here as well as different teams. So you can navigate your way through each team. Um, and so this is actually the uh, our senior designs uh, Microsoft Teams. And you can see right here it kind of brings you into this page. Uh, there's general. Um, if you've ever used Discord or, or another chatting software like that, these are like your channels. Um, and you can add these. Um, but essentially um, this works as sub pages. Uh, in your Microsoft Teams and the more you have of these the more you can kind of segment your information but for right now we just have our general um, and then in our general we have posts, files, meeting notes, our uh, the SharePoint and then our planner so whenever you uh, so you can actually post stuff generally to so that everyone on the team can see it directly into here um, and then from there you can um, it tracks your history too so then you can still click all these links at any point um, and this one's nice for really high level information, but you don't want this one to be too uh, used for like a lot of day-to-day -day traffic. That's what you're going to use the chat window for, and you can make sub teams and direct messages to people in your chat. Um, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But essentially, from here, um, this is going to be like your main page updates. Um, you got your files here. This is actually linked to your SharePoint, um, and your SharePoint is kind of like uh, a Google Drive in a sense. Um, so you can see um, this is the SharePoint is is kind of drafted in a more visual sense where you have your file system over here and then kind of the most uh, recently accessed files over on the left side. Um, you can either use either one to navigate your files and your teams, but essentially you can kind of see here um, we've got our general um, folder and then we've got engineering documents, subteam files, and then we've got subteam folders in here. So you can kind of uh, organize this very similar to a uh, Google Drive. Now meeting notes we haven't really used but essentially it's, you can use this for whenever you can pull this up whenever you're in a live call in a Microsoft Teams and you can use it to jot down notes. It's kinda cool but I, I just like to take normal meeting minutes. Um, other than that the last thing in your Teams is actually your planner and this won't be present uh, at the beginning you're gonna actually have to add this on and you can add something through add a tab and then in your add a tab uh, you can uh, add whatever app you want to add to and so we just chose planner um, and planner is here um, it might be somewhere in this drop down uh, you can search for it by just typing planner and essentially what this does is that it is almost like a um, I don't want to say a scrum board but it's like something like that it's 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 a task management system uh, where you can assign people to different tasks you can break them up into different sections like for us we have meetings we have team assignments we have structures propulsion stability optimization uh, project management management and then systems engineer oh, and these are actually all done okay and you can kind of see um, 
how you check them off once you complete them. And it's cool because it actually manages, um, yes, it actually keeps track of what you've completed as well as what's uh, to be done. Um, and you can actually change the way that these are uh, oriented. Um, you can do like progress or you can do due date. So the things that are due this week uh, are in this column and then future and then none. It's, it's, you can set it up however you want. Um, but essentially it tracks your due dates. And essentially if you go into, we're going to go into actually. So this is kind of cool because what you can actually do is uh, add people to a task. So um, you add them by adding this little assign to button and then uh, people on your team, you'll have to invite them. Um, you just do it through their email. Um, if you really have a question about that, I think we can kind of go through how to set up a brand new Microsoft Teams and invite people, but it's, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and then from here, you can set your name, uh, you set the due date, start date, you have your progress, you have your priority. Um, you can put in notes, so I usually put in like a little text, um, but also in some other places, I might put in, um, oops, let's go, I might put in links um, to help. It, it's kind of a cool way to, to add just relevant information to this specific task so then the people doing the task don't necessarily need to run around everywhere. Um, oh, and then it's cool because then you can actually select off uh, and you can actually make a checklist and kind of break up the bigger task into multiple steps and then check them off as you go. Um, and then pretty much whenever you're finished with it, you just click the overall task complete button and then it marks it off as completed. Now, the more you do this, um, and I'm going to have to add a little more tasks now since we're on like phase, uh, almost phase three of the project now. We're going to have to add more of these. So to add a new task, essentially, you can just say... Um, we're going to just make a, a test one. So you just say add a new task, set a due date. We're just going to say today, assign it. I'm going to assign it to me. And then you can add the task. And then you can open up the task and then add more description stuff or checklist information here. So that's kind of quickly how you do it. Um, the other very important thing that you're going to be using a lot is the chat button here. Um, and essentially this, you create a new chat by hitting the new chat button in the top left. It's like, kind of like the pen and the paper. And essentially here, you can add any of your contacts to be in a conversation. Um, and so I can add Sean to this. And then we can start our, uh, our private message through here. And then as you kind of, and you can share files, you can sp share specific uh, organization and um, like apps with this person and do kind of one-on-one -on -one stuff if you really need to um, but then the other important thing that you're mainly going to be using is the actual call function and that's in the top right hand corner and you can actually make group chats with a bunch of people like for instance this is the Florida Tech Rocketry one um, there's 13 people in it you can add people and you can remove people add people and you can leave um, but essentially whenever you call the team um, whoever's in this chat will receive a call and then they just join and then you can either do an audio call or a video call. It works really well, it's really stable, um, just depends on I guess your computer and your internet but it has worked for us really well so far. Um, but essentially this chat window here is going to be where you're going to want to keep most of your day-to-day -day information or like your day-to-day -day conversations between people. Um, and you can break them up into sub teams like we actually have our sub team chats in here instead of having uh, it in our teams uh, section here. We kind of have it all in the chat window. And from here you just click around and you can uh, to, to guide to whatever chat you want to go to, whatever you want to add, and then you can always create a new one whenever you need to. So that I think is a decent overview. I mean it's kind of fast but I mean it's pretty simple. Um, Planner is kind of the cool kind of tool that we've been trying to figure out how to use but it works really well so far and we've been tying it in with our work breakdown structure so essentially the codes and everything that you see like uh, EC19, EC1 those are all uh, from the work breakdown structure and those are kind of adapted to this um, yeah and I think that's 
I'm just going to click around. Oh, that's cool. So you can actually see this actually tells you the information based on when things are completed, how many of things are done on time, when how many things are late, um, how many tasks are in total, how many are completed, um, how many were in medium, important, or urgent, or low, uh, the priority. So it's kind of cool. It collects data, and uh, which is which is always useful. Um, and then this actually shows you your schedule based on your start days and due dates of things. Actually, kind of, I want to see. Yeah, so this kind of shows you based on start days versus the end days for the different uh, reports. Very cool stuff. All right. See ya.